we shot last year, but that's the exception as much as the rule.
and Luke Town will answer in kind. Clive Allen is on the field. And they're going to take off Scott Oates, who was a dad prior to this game. We had a shin problem and this training has been restricted right up until tonight. And Mark Burke is actually on loan from Wolverhampton Wanderers, so he of course went out of the cup yesterday. It's his replacement. Bishop. Here's Breaker. Congratulations, you've got a big smile on your face this evening. Well, a small smile, I'm pleased for the lads. I thought they uh, coped well with the conditions, the wind, the um, superior passing side of West Ham, if they get a chance to play the ball around. Our supporters were terrific, and um, I feel we, des we certainly deserve to take them back on the evidence of tonight. It was a big occasion for some of young younger players, and they came through it so yes, well again. they came through it well. The goalkeeper's a rookie, and he was calm and collected. Uh, the centre-half, obviously, very important, because Chapman's a wily old campaigner. Maul is quite clever too, and of course the referee's got to make decisions who's backing into who, that's not, never easy. But I thought our breaks from midfield were quite effective at times, and we just needed that decisive goal, which would really make West Ham come even more for us and possibly left more space. We weren't able to get it, we weren't able to um, make something spot on in the last third of the field, and um, in the end um, it was a good, honest cup time, people were in their seats to the last minute. The longer it went on, uh, nobody wanted to make a mistake, but... Uh... I think uh, we were always a little bit worried about them on the break, you know, we were getting a little bit frustrated second half, we didn't really get our passing together, and uh, we were getting a little bit frustrated, and they, they, you know, they had a few things on the break against us. Well, I would love to get in, to fly the flag for the Ensley teams, and to get into the semi-final, I think the, that's no more than the Ensley League deserves, because the clubs have done so well to knock 11 of their premier higher neighbours out of the competition this year, I think that's a tremendous achievement. We were a little bit sad that Bolton and Wolves succumbed, and um, obviously we feel now that we can um, we have a little bit of a chance. But we would be very, very wrong to think that we, we've we, we've done it. All we've done is we've got another bite at it. So one semi-final place still to be claimed. Chelsea still don't know who their opponents at Wembley Stadium will be. Luton and West Ham have to try again at Kenilworth Road a week on Wednesday. From Upton Park. Good night to you.